everyone and welcome back to zoo crafting we are actually not in zoo Desia today we are here in the relic ruins to welcome some of our new archaeologists i am so excited in fact this dude is trying to get past me so i'm gonna get out of his way <laughs> but we have finally let our random generator pick our archaeologist and oh my gosh there were so many applicants there were over 70 applicants just for the archaeologist position so if you guys didn't get it this time don't despair just remember that we do random job videos I'm gonna try to do them at least once every two months once every month if I can really really get moving on it but you can apply at a future coining some jobs video and then we can end up with even more archaeologists and we can set up dig sites and we can make all sorts of amazing areas and we can build the other ruins like spruce it up put it back together and get the other one up and going so I am very excited today to introduce you guys to the newest members of the relic ruins research center and they have some pretty interesting trades for us to work with too. So, without further ado, also the panda. Hey panda, oh it's Giovanni! Giovanni has come downstairs. He's normally upstairs in the library. Oops, and I left my little waypoint on so I knew how to get here. Yeah? But let us speak with Giovanni and this is Callum! So welcome Giovanni, welcome Callum! They don't want to talk to me apparently, panda. Oh geez Louise, I am so hungry too. Sorry about that guys. I have been doing so much work on the server today and I didn't even notice I'm starving. So we're gonna nibble a little bit of food. Whoa, okay, there's Callum again. And let's speak with Callum. So Callum is one of the, uh, like, um, how should I explain this? Callum is one of the ancient text researchers. So he analyzes and studies the ancient textbooks that we can find. So when you speak with Callum, he's usually pretty distracted. He'll say like, ah, excuse me, I'm doing some research, excuse me. So he's usually pretty distractible. And he ran off on me again. That's so funny. Oh, no, there you are, Callum. And he's usually down here kind of doing research among these books, rifling through all of these chests that have, like, the ancient books of the t Fourth Age, pile of ancient books, ancient books, uh, research notes, ancient books of the Eleventh Age, dusty scrolls. So he is usually the one who's reading through all of those, kind of translating them. He does a lot of translation. And so when you come and speak with him, he will give you paper, books, book and quill. So he really focuses more on the writing aspect of things. And he'll also want magnifying glasses that help him actually be able to read his text. So if we ever want to make something to bring him, then we can actually make these magnifying glasses pretty easily. All we have to do is put a glass pane and a stick together and we've got magnifying glasses. And then he also will give you an analyzer because that is what he does. He analyzes the different different relics, the different old books that he can collect. He also loves ferns, so he can give us some of the ancient ferns, like the these not the ferns you can get from seeds, but like ferns are a very old type of plant. Their family and their structure has been around for a long, long time. So he'll give you some of the plain ferns, some of the Cretan break ferns, and some of the dwarf palmentos. So if we ever need some ferns, we know where to come to buy some from him. And then he will also trade you coins, good coinage, in return for relic scraps or stone tablets or a dinopedia. So if we have any of these extra and we don't want to keep them, we can bring them here to Callum and he'll take care of them for us. And he also does some research in volcanic rock and volcanic ash and tar, which is really cool looking. So if we want to come bring some emerald coins, which are kind of expensive, then he'll give us the rock or the tar or the analyzer. And the ash is really cheap because we can get lots of volcanic ash from the volcanoes next to Miz by ourselves, aka... Oh, you are not Callum. That's so funny. Ms. aka the Safari Zone. So that is Callum and our, of course, our panda! The mascot panda whose name is Teacher in Chinese. I'm gonna have to ask Darling how to pronounce that correctly again. So where'd Giovanni go? Here's Giovanni. He's dancing on top of the relics. Really, Giovanni? Giovanni is in charge of looking at the actual physical ancient relics that are here in the Relic Ruins Research Center. So if you come and speak with him, then Giovanni will tell you a little bit. You don't happen to have any charcoal on you, do you? I actually use it for carefully making sketches of the ancient relics I work with. And he'll talk to you about that. It is so satisfying to put together these ancient pieces and see the story emerge after thousands of years. He really loves his job, even though you wouldn't know it because he's freaking dancing on top of a very old, this is like an ancient, ancient vase, Giovanni, stop. Oh my gosh. 
Do you check our, our notes? The bookshelves are full of our academic records. You can find out so much useful information. Thank you, Giovanni. I do wish you would stop dancing on that. It is like making the the historian's girlfriend and me, which is I'm my my darling is a historian. He is he has his master's in history. So and he's a history teacher. So like watching someone dance on top of a precious relic like this is just it's so it's stressful, Giovanni. It's stressful. But if we speak with him, he will trade us some good coinage in return for pottery shards, also in return for relic scraps or stone tablets. He'll give us a much better deal on stone tablets than Callum downstairs. That's one of the tricks with the trades, is that depending on the NPC you talk with, you might run into somebody who gives you a worse deal or a better deal for the different items. So you have to keep your eyes out for the best deal. And he'll also trade us for javelins. And I think he will trade to us javelins as well, because those javelins are kind of hard for us to get our hands on so we'll probably set it up so that he will also trade javelins to you and then he will also give you the ancient glass which is very exciting this is not craftable in our version of the mod i believe so this ancient glass is really hard to get our hands on and now we can get some from him in return for a hundred diamond coins so use sparingly oh my goodness this is not something unless we wanted to like be egotistical and show off this is not something we would want to build an entire exhibit out of and then he'll also trade you some of the broken relics that he no longer needs the broken Amphora, the broken Kylix, the broken Vault Oot, I probably said all of those wrong, and he will take from you to help him with his sketches and help him with all of his work that he does, charcoal or sugar charcoal, and he'll also take stone shards, iron shards, and steel shards. So I actually don't know where to find these shards, so if you guys know how to find these shards, I think they're from Mine Factory Reloaded, then please, or actually they're from um, Tinker's Construct, I think. I think they're from Tinker's Construct, so if you know where to find these, then let me know, because I've never seen those before. Should I even try to repair this piece? It's so delicate. Maybe if you got off it, Giovanni. Maybe if you got off that piece, we wouldn't have to worry about you repairing it, huh? <laughs> so, he, this is Giovanni. He's pretty cool. What else was going on? Oh, Austin's talking. Yeah, he's still talking about if he should repair this piece. Austin, I love studying the terror birds and terror bird eggs, but my specialty in training is actually ancient gemstones. Isn't the age we live in so amazing? Bringing dinosaurs back to life. It's stunning. So that's Austin, who is normally right here. I think she went downstairs. We'll find her in just a second. And we're just admiring. I love our Relic Ruins Research Center. Pretty soon... I wonder if we have another thing we should put in there. And you know what I've been thinking about lately? I want to go back to the bug world. I'm really getting a little antsy to... Ha <laughs> ha get it? A little antsy. Ha <laughs> ha! To go see the bug world again. So we might work on that soon too. Austin! Hey, Abby, is Austin up here? Austin! There you are, Austin! So this is Austin! She is really cool. I love her green boots and her green shirt. That This is the basic archaeologist outfit, is the hat and the shorts and the pants because you might have to go out in the field. I think next we'll make a dig site for archaeologists to go to. And Adam, I have not forgotten about you. Just a little, a little side note, but we are going to talk with Austin for just a moment. And she is actually an archaeologist who is obsessed with terror birds. She loves terror birds and prehistoric birds. So if we come and visit her, we can trade her dodo eggs for gold coins. And also any eggs from the terror birds that they lay, we can trade to her for emerald coins. So that's very useful if we don't want to try hatching them. And we have a whole lot of extras, we can bring them to her and trade for some coins. But her specialty and field of training is actually gemstones. She studies the geology, ancient geology, and she specializes in gemstone analysis. So if we bring her some very expensive diamond coins, she will give us some of the very rare, hard to find gemstones, like the malachite ore, the pyrrha ore, the topaz ore, the tanzanite ore, and the ruby ore. These ones we have found very few of before, so they really are kind of like a rare decorative item. And we can get them from her if in trade for a hundred diamond coins so it's not cheap it's pretty expensive she also loves analyzing the DNA samples from amber because of her specialty working with gemstones she can analyze the amber pretty well so if you come and speak with her 
then she will trade you amber ore and she will also trade you for amber and if you remember we can get lots and lots and lots of amber from the bug world so if we went and traveled to the bug world and collected a lot of amber and came back to this world and turned the amber into her she can turn it into a lot of biofossils so it's really a lot of work to do all of that but it might pay off because she'll give us tons of biofossils in return for that amber. And then she will also take the scarab gems if we happen to get our hands on one. And she will give us, I believe this would be 5,000 coins. Five freaking thousand coins in exchange for a scarab gem. But they are so, so rare, even with our specially enchanted, very, 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 very specially enchanted pickaxes. So that's really something you have to think carefully about. But yeah, because this would be, yeah, this would be 5,000 coins because each diamond coin is worth 100. So that's a lot of coins. That's a lot of coins, Nicole. How are you doing, Nicole? That's right. I love that efficiency to archaeology to pickaxe that she trades. That's just so cool. And what about you, my friend? That's right. You are one of the villagers, I believe, from the village of paleontologist. Come here to do your research. I really need to make sure that we like have a notebook. In fact, that's what we should do. We should get a written notebook. Do I have coins? We do have coins. Do I have? <gasps> we have name tags. Do we have an anvil in here? I think there used to be an anvil, but I took it out. Because we could name the, the rest of the villagers so we could remember who's from what village before I forget. Oh, and then we have Haley. Haley. So we'll meet Haley in just a second. I'm like frantically looking. I don't think we have. No, dang it. We got so close. Well. We'll make a book and quill, and we will name all of the villagers so we can keep track of which villager came from which village, because this is a multi-village effort, this research center, and I want to make sure we know which villager came from which village, so we can, like, praise them accordingly. And this is Haley! She is another one of our archaeologists. Thankfully, this building's huge, so we have two more. We have Haley and one more person up in the greenhouse to meet. So Haley is really cool. She's very laid back. She also has a family who's into apple orchards. So actually speaking with Haley, she'll tell you about her family's apple orchards and how her family is responsible for planting the grandma's apple tree over by our, our reptile house. If you guys remember that big, beautiful grandma's apple tree, a donated tree that we have with the big swing in it. And it's just this huge, beautiful oak tree with lots and lots of apples. That is Haley's family's tree. And she specializes in studying ancient foods and ancient clay jugs. So when you speak with her, then she will trade you coins for clay, sand, gravel, things she can kind of sift through for, for fragments of information. And she'll trade you, in return for coins, bits of clay and hardened clay and some of the, the ancient colors of the clay that she's learned to work with in order to make the clay jugs. She likes to make the relics of the clay jugs that used to exist in the ancient villages. And she makes those so that she can study how they used to live. And so she'll also trade you salt and spice buns, a very primitive, easy to make spice bun that she's found a lot of ancient villages used to have, as well as some old world veggie soup. So she's really into studying like the old style of what people used to cook. And it was a little bit more simplistic, but still delicious. And she will also, because she loves apples, she's from a family that loves apples, will trade you good coinage for apples. In fact, here, we'll give her some, some apples. Have some apples, Haley. Yay, now we've got some coins. Woohoo! And then she'll also trade you for apple juice and she'll trade you apple sauce. In fact, Haley, you can have all my apples. Well, I need, I need at least a couple to eat. So you can have the rest of my apples, Haley. There you go. And yeah, she'll trade you coins for apple juice, apple sauce, and apple pie, especially. She loves her grandma's apple pie. So we're also going to make it so that she can give you grandma's apple pie. So that'll be a special thing we can get from Haley. So that's going to be so fun. But she's really sweet if you speak with her. I love spending some time outside sketching. The Cherry Blossom Park out here is just so beautiful. And I still want to build a bridge from over here to where the Cherry Blossom Park is because I think that would be really cool. Nicole, that's going to have to be like, uh, Nicole, you're pretty cool. Like, you really want to see what's going on, don't you? Following me around everywhere. I like you. You're pretty cool. But I still want to, like, turn that area into, like, a nice park, refurbish it, maybe put a fountain in there or a little waterfall. Just make it really nice. Make a bridge so you can walk over there and just see what's going on. So that'll be fun. And then we've got one more amazing person to meet, and she is actually hanging up inside 
of here and it's Emma so let's close the door so she doesn't fall down and hello Emma so this is Emma she is an ancient plant pollen analysis person so she analyzes pollen samples from prehistoric ages and that actually tells you a lot about what kind of plants were growing at that time it tells you a ton about what kind of um, animals could live in certain areas because of their dietary restrictions you can even learn about what animals ate by analyzing the pollen on the like bone fragments or on the teeth especially or the fur that you managed to find that's been preserved so you can find out a lot from pollen analysis and emma is a pollen analysis expert and if we speak with her she focuses a lot on the prehistoric plants so when you talk with her, she'll trade you good coins for all of the sriracha, fern seeds. She'll trade you good coins for the plant fossils, and she'll trade you a hundred nice coins for a fully taken care of sapling, a fully ready to go sapling. So she'll trade you really well for those. And she'll also trade them back to you for the same amount. So she's fair. She'll also trade you quite a bit for dirt, and she'll give you a sifter if you're in need of a sifter, shorthanded for a sifter. Oh my. Oh, Emma, it's kind of cool to be in here when it's raining. Wow, look at this. It's just very pretty. And then she also wants empty shells. She just likes collecting nautilus shells. So if we ever end up with a lot of nautilus shells again from our nautilus just passing out on us like they did, we can bring the empty shells to her and she'll trade you diamond coins for that. It's really hard to get nautilus shells because uh, they don't spawn in the wild uh, in our world for some reason. So we, that's, a good, that's a good trade. And she also loves star fruit, kiwi, veggie salad, vegetarian lettuce wraps, and old world veggie soup because she is too a vegetarian. She is also a vegetarian, so yay! And then, let's see. My name is Emma. I'm one of the archaeologists here at the Relic Research Center. My specialty is in plant specimens and pollen analysis. Oh, hello, seriously. Can you join me for lunch? It's all vegetarian fare, but I promise it's very good. So this is fun, and she hangs out up here. Wow, it's really pretty out there. Look at the storm. This is actually really cool to watch. Wow. I want the lightning to come back again so I can I can see it flash in the distance. <gasps> is that hang on guys? I think I see <gasps> Epatites on those trees. Oh sunflower, we're gonna have to go get those. I love the appetites. Oh, did you see that? That was so cool. I wonder if I oh my gosh, did it like make fire? I think it made fire for a second. Let's stare at this. I wanna see if we can get like a picture. Ooh. Nope, didn't do it. Oh, wow. I've never really seen it from like this high up, one of these thunderstorms. So this is really cool. Ah, dang it. I keep trying to get a picture of like the lightning coming down, but it's not striking like before. Look at this. Man, that's cool. Ah, dang it. Of course, just as I'm ready to leave and I get out of, I get out of the view mode. Come on, lightning. I'll give it one more lucky strike. I say lucky. I'm, I only feel that way because I am safe inside of a little greenhouse. Oh, dang it, nothing. All right, never mind. Emma, I hope you enjoy the beautiful view. It is amazing up here. See, this was built because of your guys' ideas of putting a greenhouse up here. That is why I say never be afraid to comment. Even if I don't have time to reply, I write down all the ideas that really leap out at me in my notebook so we can work on them. But there we go. So we've got some fun coinage from Haley. So let's see if we can uh, purchase anything. Hi, Nicole. Hello, unnamed villager who I need to name. Let's see, Austin. Do I want to get something from you? I can't because you're only diamond coin level. Mm -hmm. You're also high, too high for me. Too expensive. But the relic researchers are... Pardon me, I have hiccups. Are meant to be super expensive. Callum, you're speaking with this researcher. Oh, we do have the book and quill. Hmm. <gasps> ferns. I'm going to get some ferns. I'm going to get some break ferns because I don't see too many of those. I'm going to get a dwarf palmento. And I'm a happy girl because I've got ferns. All right. So this is the Relic Research Center with the NPCs. We will be stopping by. Hello, Callum. I wonder if the terror birds are in the nearby dinosaur park yet. I'd love to see them. Ah, oh, so cool. So we will be stopping by more often to do trades with them, possibly on market days. Because do not forget, we still have to unlock trades on these archaeologists. But they are so expensive. These archaeologists want like 20, 
15, 14 emeralds. So we're gonna have to save up a lot of coinage, turn it into emeralds and amber the baker's place, and then come back here one day and buy the super expensive trades and see how many trades we can open up on these archeologist NPCs. So what else do they sell? Fascinating, we'll have to learn. But all right guys, I will see you guys next time. Thank you so much for stopping by the zoo. Congratulations to everybody who managed to get picked via the random generator. Remember, I do not pick the random generator picks to keep it fair. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.